What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson. Before and today, we're going to be talking about how Black Ops 3 should have been revoked, and instead of releasing Black Ops 3, they should have released World at War 2. But before we get into more details, I would like to talk about the gameplay in the background. So hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay because it is a Modern Warfare 3. You know, I'm pretty sure everybody misses this kind of style of gameplay because, you know, nobody likes to see any kind of Halo bullshit happening. So I'm pretty sure you guys love this kind of style. So if you guys want to see more classic gameplays, make sure you leave a like on the video. And that will let me know that you want some more and I'll bring you guys more classics. So anyways, moving on to the main topic, which is about World at War 2. Why the hell didn't they release that game instead of Black Ops 3? You know, if they were going to release another Black Ops game, they should have made it like Black Ops 2. With a few more tweaks, with a few more weapons extra or a few more decorations or something, you know. With a minor upgrades, that would have been enough. But instead, we got ourselves another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. It's literally Call of Duty Advanced Warfare 2.0, like I said in that video about my to the, top things, the top 10 things that I hate about Black Ops 3. So, um, yeah, like, if they were going to make another Black Ops, they should have made it like Black Ops 2. So, uh, World at War, it would have been a better option because uh, the graphics, you know, we all seen World at War 1. The graphics were okay, but imagine um, the next gen, the PS4 and the Xbox One, and using all those classical weapons like the Thompson, you know, uh, the, the freaking single shooters and the assault rifle division. All these guns would have been fun to use because it's something different. It's not modern, all right? We're not going to be using the AK-47 or the P90 or the MP7. It's not modern weapons. It's going to be all classical. So, it would have been nice to see that you know it would have been following up the order of 1887 or whatever the fuck is called but um you know those classic styles should come back they should really come back they should really reconsider you know releasing another classic time game like put us in world at war one or world at war not world at war world war one or world war two you know uh, or make us make us a sequel where we didn't kill Hitler or some bullshit, you know, where Hitler didn't kill himself and they keep on terrorizing the U.S. That would have been a better, you know, scene to play in. You know, make up your own story now. Do not make up like oh we're still fighting in Iraq and you know that's what's currently happening right now. But like, think about it. Think about like uh, when what happens if Osama actually made it to the U.S. with his troop and we gotta defend the U.S. That would have been a better scenario, or another scenario with World at War would have been better with was uh you know with Hitler supposedly still surviving instead of killing himself supposedly because uh, you know a lot of people were saying that shit, but he then he appears in the U.S. with a bunch of troops. We got to defend the homeland in the U.S. That would have been a better scenario, but instead we're stuck in the future with a bunch of bullshit where they invented a bunch of stories about you know having little electronic mechanic parts inside our bodies and we're still playing that Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. If you're gonna make a title like that, I mean, come on, make a separate game. Like seriously, you, you don't you don't don't call it Call of Duty. You just call it um, Future Ops or something. That would have been a better title for it. But do not involve Call of Duty because Call of Duty, you know what it meant back in the day was militaristic shooter combat, militaristic style combat. It would have been realism right there. That would have been awesome to see again. You know, regular classic style military shooter. But no. So World at War Two would it have been better? You know, it seriously would have been. I don't know where Von der Hart got this idea of like bringing this bullshit on on our desk. So, um, yeah. So that's all I wanted to talk about. You know, World at War Two would have been better. It would have been better seeing their kill streaks, their mortars, their their um, their dogs. You know, I wanted to see. I want to see. You know, this is what I want to see. Treyarch do another video about dogs, saying how graphic it is, and they would have been talking about that the whole damn time when World at War Two was is being announced. And they would have been talking about that. Like the whole show, like oh look at our dogs, there's like so graphic and stuff, and and I would have loved to see that instead of like oh we're using jetpacks again. <laughs> so uh, that is it, guys. If you guys want to hear more topics, if you guys, you guys want to see more classical mid militaristic shooters here in this channel, leave a like in the video and subscribe for more because it's gonna be more awesome stuff coming up.